This is real life. This is regular girl YouTube, okay? These are bomb.com. I don't know if y'all say that anymore. Y'all see bomb.com? Because I said it. I used to wear lipstick, but then I look back at the pictures and I'm glad I don't wear it no more. <laughs> I'm glad. My daughter making sure the train not coming. <laughs> if I go like this, then I have a shape. Starting off the vlog with looking a mess. I wanted to start it off by not looking a mess, but this is real life. This is regular girl YouTube, okay? Look, so I didn't want to, excuse me, I didn't want to pick up my camera today because I told myself I was going to be off all week and I, was, I wasn't going to pick it up until Friday, but I'm picking it up because I'm about to surprise my daughter. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get her reaction on camera. It's personal. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all some of the products that I purchased for her. Some of the things are like needs, like these are things that she needed. But it's kind of like sort of slash a want because there are, it's like an alternative for the thing that she wanted. Sorry y'all, if y'all see all these papers. These are like tissue papers because I'm getting ready to pack her gift. I didn't give her a car. It's not her birthday. It's just a just because gift. Sometimes people that you love in your life, um, you know, parent, child, brother, sister, cousin, fiance, boyfriend, girlfriend, these just because gifts are very important. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all the things that I got her. I'm just trying to find them right now. Oh, there we go. So I got her Kit Kat White, some Arizona green tea. And this is pretty good. I've had it myself. And yeah, it's a lot of sugars in it. But they have like a more a healthier version of that. I have to find that for y'all. And I got her, looking for the other one. The other gift. Oh yeah. I got her some leggings. And these were from the Super Dollar Tree. You know, the Dollar Tree and Family Dollar combined. These are five bucks. And these are a good material. Just some black leggings. Because she needed some. Some of her leggings are getting older. And then, oh yeah. And then I got her this Glee Vegan Formula. Um, this is a hair removal cream for body hair. Um, as y'all know, if you've been following me for quite a while, my daughter is a teenager. She is starting high school very, 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 very soon. And she has a lot of hair. Not trying to tell her business, but you know, teenagers, they go through stages where they have body hair. This is not sponsored Glee. Please sponsor your girl if you like what you see. <laughs> but this is a great vegan formula. I've actually used this once. Um, they have different uh, scents. This is the, and it's very light scents. It doesn't, it doesn't irritate. Well, it didn't irritate me. I'm gonna let her try it to make sure it doesn't irritate her. But yeah, that's right. It has a honey melon scent. This is the blue one or seafoam green, whatever you wanna call this color, teal. They have a pink one, and I think, I don't know, I'm not too sure, but I think it's only pink and like the seafoam green. I used the pink one before, so. And it works really, really good if you don't like shaving or you have some, like you don't wanna shave or you can't shave. So this is a good cream if you're not, in, if you're not irritate, like if body creams do not irritate you, this is good. So my little lady, um, that's what I bought her. So that is, that is her gift, just her just because gift. So that's what's going on right now, but I'm gonna pick y'all back up um, a few days from now. And yeah, we'll chit chat. Hey y'all, so I'm all done up for a night out. It's currently Friday night. As you can see, I am blonde. I'm a blonde bombshell. I don't know what y'all want to call this, but I have wore blonde before. This is a very old wig. I actually have two other old wigs that are blonde, 
This has the um, the rooting in it, which I prefer blonde wigs to have rooting in them. That's just me, per you know, that's just my preference. I've heard people say it's ugly, but to me personally, it looks cute on me. Okay, so we're gonna wear the blonde with the rooting. So I curled it. At first, I was gonna wear like super straight, like bone straight, cause it's like, I had cut on it, but I put some curls in it, like some bombshell curls in it. And I, did, I was gonna do a middle part, but I got a side part in. So that is the hair. Um, but I cut on, I'm gonna show you how to outfit in a little, little bit in these little flowers. But I cut on the camera, it sheds too. I, I'll put the, I'll put the link to the wig if y'all interested, but it don't look like it. I don't know if I can find what the wig is because I had it for a long time. So I don't know what it looked like before. So I don't know if y'all gonna get a link. Anyway, I can't cut on the camera because I wanted to show y'all some beauty products that I purchased. It's not like beauty, it's like accessories, beauty, all that. It's nothing too lavish, so don't get your panties in a twist. But I actually wanted to wear these earrings tonight, but my hair is so big. But I bought these from the Beauty Supply Place. And if you've been watching my vlogs like that, I actually have some silver ones like that. I mean, like these, like that. Like these, but these are gold. They're so pretty. But I will wear this in a different type of look. Like I wouldn't wear this hair. I will wear like some bone straight hair or maybe some hair put up in a bun. Cause you wanna see these earrings. So these are really, really cute. And I got these for $1.99 at the beauty supply. So there's no link for these. That's at my local beauty supply place, okay? I have on this liner. This is my first time lining my lash line. I usually don't line my lash line. I don't know why, but I usually don't. Um, but this is by NK Makeup. It is called Microfine Liner. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ooh, I gotta wash my hands. Cause I have, it's black all over it. And I just, oh wow. Okay, anyway, it's Microfine and Art Liner, I'm sorry. And this is in the shade NKA01. I don't know if y'all can see that black, okay? So that's what I used to uh, line my lash line today. I showed y'all in like a whole bunch of vlogs <laughs> that I use the um, super shiny uh, wet and wild face primer photo focus but I am wearing now the matte one because baby it's hot and I need my makeup to stay my makeup was staying with the other one it's primer right but my makeup is very matte today because it is so oh I put too much highlight right here so yeah, uh, this is like $4. And I got this at Walgreens. I'm pretty sure at Walmart it's like three bucks. So that's what, we're have on, that's what we have on the face. So I just wanted to show you this product. And it, I've been using this for about maybe five or six years. So this is good. Next, the lashes that I'm wearing, I know y'all can't see them because I wear eyeglasses, but they're super gorgeous. And I am wearing the Cherry Lashes. It's called Cherry Blossom 3D Silk or 3D Silk Cherry Blossom Lashes and the number 921. So if y'all see these at your local beauty supply, pick up this number because baby, I love these. And these are these are actually a dollar. And I actually got these from Dallas when I went to Dallas about four months ago. So I know I've been seeing them in my local beauty supply. So I'm gonna pick up this a whole bunch of these, like in this number because they're gorgeous. They're not too long. They look so good. I know y'all can't see them because I got my eyeglasses and I'm not taking them off, so. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. This is probably like a $5 haul. $10, $5 haul, whatever. But I purchased these earrings. I'm gonna take them out the pack so y'all can see them. I need to go ahead and go because it's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna be there like 11.30, 12 o'clock. I only stay in places for like two hours, y'all. <laughs> I don't even close the club out. But anyway, look at these earrings. I am definitely wearing these on vacation or maybe later on in the weekend with another outfit, I'm not sure. This one kind of got a little tangled, but look how gorgeous these are. These were $1.99 at my local beauty supply place. Look how pretty. 
Oh my word. Since my outfit is not that dressy, I didn't wear them. And plus, I'd rather wear these, you know, in a different way. Oh, this is, these are just so pretty. Like some soft, long curled black hair. These showing out, make the black hair push it to the back. Oh my God. These are bomb.com. I don't know if y'all say that anymore. Y'all say bomb.com? Cause I say, but yeah, these are pretty. The last thing, cause I didn't really do overdo it. Like I got me some travel Eben Wonder Lace Bonds. This is the Supreme Hold. I use the big one at home, but I'm about to travel in like the next two weeks. So, you know, I needed a travel size. So this is gonna come in handy instead of packing this big, large one. And this is like $2.99. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's very affordable. I think the big one is like five bucks, which is still cheap. So, so anyway, on to the outfit, cause I'm getting ready to go. Cause I wanna have me a little drinky drink. I wanna have a drink tonight. I ain't really been drinking like that. Y'all know I don't barely drink. So, cause I'm on a health kick. But y'all like my little 70s hair? <laughs> this little 70s hairstyle. This little blonde, blonde looking like the black Marilyn Man Monroe. But anyway, y'all know the outfit was gonna be hoochie. It gotta be hoochie, it's hot outside. I need to put some more oil on. These are the shorts, or the bottoms. I need to put some oil on. I'm not glistening enough. But the booty is booty. Yeah, you see it. And they're kind of like, you know, they're not form fitted. But they fit the waist really good. As I can tell, I put some weight on, but I look good. I still, I'm still giving hourglass, right? And I got a little gap. I'm still giving. I'm giving superhero still. <laughs> And the shoes I'm wearing, I don't feel like lifting my leg up. But these are the shoes that I'm wearing, the triangle heels. I love these. They are. Right. The shirt I made. It. This is from the brand is Material Girl, and this is this was a full crop top. It was boxy. It's not even shaped correctly, and I cut it down the middle and tied it and tucked it. That's what we do over here. I have, let me tell y'all something about my body. I have a very short uh, torso. It's short. So, y'all see that? I have a short, short, short torso. Like that's the, this is my stomach right here. That's it. So I have to wear my tops cropped in order for my clothes to flatter me. I don't know if that makes sense, y'all. And then for the jewelry, for the jewelry on my neck, this is my neck piece that I got from my dad a few Christmases ago. This right here, this little ga galaxy is from Miss A. Um, this, uh, like a heartbeat or whatever you want to call it, is from Forever 21. These earrings is from that store from Harwin. Just some oversized studs, some gold studs. These two bracelets are Forever 21. From Forever 21, I will link these. I'm pretty sure these are linkable. I don't know if these two are linkable, but if they're linkable, they're from Miss A. No, this is from Forever 21. I don't know. If I find the links for these, I will link those. They're pretty, pretty, pretty. They're probably, mine is probably more faded. <laughs> so, and then this watch is from Shein. It's just a two-tone watch. Oh, I need to get some rings. Oh, shit. Last time I went out, y'all, I didn't have any rings on. Okay, I want to wear this black ring. I got, I get it from Miss A. Well, I, I get it from Miss A. I got it from Miss A. So we're gonna put this. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna put this black ring right here. I don't want to overdo it with the jewelry. Yeah. And we're gonna wear this little ring right here. And this is from. This probably came in a set from like Rainbow. So that's how we're gonna do it with the jewelry. I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm going for a sexy school teacher. I don't care if it's not Halloween, but when you dress up, you dress up. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and the nails, these are reused. These are from Five Below. And I will link these in the description box for sure, because I linked them in the last video, so. And the foundation, um, y'all can't really tell on this, because the lighting is really, really bad. Um, but it matches better because I got darker, my face got darker. 
this part is really really light so it looks like my foundation is dark this is light I need to get this tan as you can tell this right here is trying to tan up and then this right here is like it matches like my found I've dragged my foundation down so I probably need to drag it a little bit more further down but so that's why it looks like my foundation is darker and also like I said I mixed my foundation because I've gotten darker so I mixed uh, I mixed the Maybelline Fit Me's Oops. I mixed my Maybelline Fit Me's sorry if they look a little brown at the top but um, this is 370 the shade 370 Fit Me Matte the Matte and Poreless and this is the Matte and Poreless 375 and I mixed them, but I put more of this and put like a couple of dots of this. So, turned out pretty well. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to go. Um, I'm not too sure about a montage or anything because I'm probably gonna go to a few of the same spots and probably much more and I'm just trying to enjoy my night. Um, hence of why I went all out with the hair. So I'm definitely going to stand out. Um, but yeah, I just wanna have a good time. By the way, y'all, I'm I'm such a ding dong. These these were not shorts. These are some plaid pants from Dee Dee's. I cut them. I cut them. They have the little pockets, y'all. I'm so sorry. I was so focused on how my body looks. But I love them because of the pockets. They had some other plaid shorts at Dee Dee's, but the sizing, like how, not the sizing. It was how they looked on me and this is in a size medium okay now we leave so if y'all don't get a montage i see y'all in the next clip over there please make the most of this shit don't you come close to some shit i give you this bread you run me some head and they ain't go blow up a feet she moved out of state and shit that went left she's seeking forgiveness she used to dance but she want to loan and start up a business but daddy is not around her mama is not around her I watch her climb on the top of the pole and then get sick. I make it rain in this bitch. I make it snow. It is almost 12 noon. And, oops. <laughs> Y'all know the vibes. Anyway, it's a wig change. I actually was wearing this wig like for a few days in a row. I just wore that blonde wig last night. But this is the same hair that I be wearing when I go work out with. All I did was co wash it the other day and it's completely dry. I don't know if y'all can see that because my steering wheel is in the way. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to solve this mountain problem uh, soon. Not now, but soon. But anyway, y'all, how are y'all feeling? It is Saturday, July 5th. Is it July 16th? Hello? Is it July 16th? I don't know. And then I wanted to show y'all this. I kind of showed a snippet of this in my perfume video or my fragrance video. I need to stop saying perfume. But I showed this in my fragrance video. This is the Giorgio Armani My Way. This is perfect for the summertime. A light summer fragrance. It is not warm and spicy. It is a floral fragrance. Just letting y'all know. And y'all know I'm not too fond of our key are fond of floral fragrances but i've been i've been drawn to this lately when i'm going to go run errands and stuff like that and go shopping and stuff i like to throw this on during the day this is not a nighttime scent by any means this is a daytime scent but this is so cute it's like a taco cake look at h-e-b it's like almost 30 dollars oh that's pretty but this is very unique y'all $30. Okay, y'all. I promised y'all last vlog that I was going to show y'all all the sushis at H-E-B. You got spicy California roll, spicy tuna roll. You got Gulf Coast roll. You got what's the other one? Crunchy Temptation roll. Temptation roll. You got Crunchy roll. Did I say Crunchy, Cal crunchy California roll? Philadelphia roll. Philadelphia roll with imitation crab. The regular California roll. You got, what else? Shrimp spring roll. I'm tired of doing montages. San Antonio roll. You got the Austin roll. 
mango chamoy roll. <laughs> she said I'm annoying y'all. Oh well. Texas trio combo roll. South Texas combo. And tropical combo. And then they have the poke or poke bowls, however y'all want to say it. I call them poke bowls. And they said all the different variations, like the San Antonio poke, crunchy California. You hear y'all, you hear in the background? The crunchy California poke, San Antonio, salmon poke, original sauce of white rice. Oh, it's some more sushi. All-star combo, tailgate combo, California combo. And then they have these sushis here. These are big Tokyo combo, salmon delight, um, tuna delight, and yeah, some more poke bowls. And then they also have dumplings, y'all. Are you gonna get your sushi? Go get your sushi. I don't know why you're following me. Oh, okay, sorry. And then they have, oh, the Caribbean spring roll. That looks divine. And then these are all the pop stickers. I'm sorry, not dumplings. These are pop stickers. And these are like the crab rangoons. These are cooked. Most of those shoes, I don't know if y'all noticed when I was, oh, these are seaweed salad. And the pop stickers have like pork chicken. I think it's like just pork and chicken in those. But yeah, some of those sushis that I showed y'all are cooked. So if you don't like raw fish, cause I know some of y'all like y'all be saying, I don't eat sushi because it's raw fish. Some of them are cooked, okay? And some of them are raw. So just to let y'all know about sushi, just a little, hint to sushi that some of it is cooked okay so get the cooked ones and it's labeled like this one's labeled cooked this one up here is labeled raw what kind of dance little kid was doing <laughs> you crazy okay mukbang time no this kid my daughter says she gonna stop watching my videos if i keep if i say that so but we're trying, it's called, I'm gonna, I'm gonna channel, I'm gonna put this on my channel like a segment because I'm always trying like a healthy drink. I don't know how healthy this is, but it looks pretty healthy. I mean, the calories ain't nothing but 170. So it's healthy to me. So this drink is called Remedy Organics. This is the brand, Berry Immunity. I wanted a green smoothie, but I'm gonna be out and about and I don't wanna have gas, so. 10 grams of protein. It has elderberry, strawberry, uh, camel, camel, instanacea, lion's mane, and prebiotics. It's 100% plant based, non GMO, gluten free, dairy free, vegan, USDA organic. I'm reading all the things on the label. <laughs> And uh, elderberry, y'all know it's good for you. It's immune support. All the rest are immune support. Uh, dragon fruit has dra dragon fruit in it. It's for skin support. The prebiotics, you know, that's good for gut health. Protein is for muscle recovery. And uh, yeah, it's only 170 calories, 8 grams of fat, 11 carbs, 7 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein. And you have to shake well. About to do shake well, shake well. I'm reaching back here for my oh, my daughter. Lord have mercy. My daughter is getting uh, she's showing y'all her sushi that she got. You can show them all. She got the, what you got? What's the name of your roll? She got the tropical roll that I showed y'all. So I got my kava straw. It's a paper straw, by the way. I love their straw. Let's try this drink. This is cheaper than going to those smoothie places. This was three bucks. And look how big this is. The smoothie place, you pour this in a cup, it's gonna fill up that cup. You got it at that smoothie place that you just paid $7. Mm. Mm. Man. Now, of course, y'all know that the cheaper way to make smoothies is at home. At home. But. Mm. Yeah, I'm tearing this up. Let me slow down. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so we are looking for a mat trap. We don't have a lot as what we used to have. No, this is not over here. These are like, oh look, the Zevo. That's what we need. How much is that? I know it ain't $12. And look, this zero. What is this? Oh, this the spray. I ain't gonna do that. Uh, I wanted to show y'all something that I really like. I always like these. Like if you have these in your backyard, that's awesome. I really love those in the winter time, especially. These are like heaters. Let's see how much one of them costs. $199, that's not too bad. because it's Monday morning. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I don't have to go to work all week, so I'm happy about that. Tonight was pretty, pretty fun. Um, I didn't really vlog, so I definitely apologize. Anyway, I didn't vlog. I'm not a very good vlogger on this vlog. I definitely apologize, especially when it comes to like me going out this weekend. Um, just been living in the moment. <laughs> and y'all see me go out a lot, so. Whatever y'all got is what y'all got. So anyway, before I take off all my jewelry and clothes and shower and everything, I don't know if I told y'all, cause I, I looked back at the clip and I don't think I told y'all what I've been having on my lips. So this is the, ooh, this is the Nika K. I think I did tell y'all what, it, I don't know. I have to look back at the clips. But I was wearing Nika K New York's uh, metallic lip color in the shade Crimson. I don't know if y'all can see that. Focus, focus. And it's really, really pretty. Like, it's fading right now, but it's really, really pretty. So that's what I've been wearing on my lips like all weekend because I've been wearing like red. Or I just, I ain't really wore red on Friday, but I wanted a red lip, so... And y'all know I love gloss. I do not wear lipstick. So, I used to wear lipstick, but then I look back at the pictures and I'm glad I don't wear it no more. <laughs> I'm glad. Because <laughs> them pictures back in the day with my makeup. I'm not saying I'm a pro now, but baby, I look way better. Way better. So, not to go down a rabbit hole with that, but tonight I am wearing the Sensational Vice Wig that I have featured in my last vlog. I put this baby back on. Um, it's a very pretty wig. I didn't want to be blonde tonight because the outfit didn't call for blonde. So I put back in this uh, wig that had the highlights in it. And of course I wear, I don't know if, if you guys are new here, I wear synthetic wigs. So. The earrings, we're going to start from top to bottom. The earrings are from the beauty supply place, which I did show y'all on Friday. But this is the ones that I wore today. I actually wore them today for the first time. Ring, rainbow, nail, side low. Um, watch is she in ring, snake ring is mix, is mix, is Miss A. Two bracelets for over 21. They come in like a pack of like five or six. Um, of course, I told y'all about the lips. The lashes are the same lashes from Friday. These are the Cherry Blossom Lashes in the number 921. The foundation is Maybelline Fit Me Matte Coreless. Everything else is Beauty Supply Place. Um, I told y'all about the wig. Let me show y'all the outfit real quick. All right, so the shirt is... Um, I can't even think. The shirt is um, from Rainbow, that's right. And it was supposed to be a swimsuit cover up. And I tied this, I, I cut it up and tied this and wore it like this last year. I would insert a picture the same way how I wore it last year, the same way I wore it today. This is the second time me wearing this, uh, of me wearing this shirt. And I just absolutely love it because it's mesh and it has this ruche material on the side. So I just wear it as a dress shirt. <laughs> I don't wear it as a swimsuit cover. -up. I could get away with it. Like I might take it on vacation and wear it as a swimsuit cover up. I don't know. But yeah. 
like a swimsuit cover up as the top part and wear like some white bottoms or something. But I like this. This is cute. So if I find this on the Rainbow website, I will show y'all what the what the actual shirt looks like and the link for it if y'all want to purchase it. And this is in a big size. This is in a size like 2X. So it was very, it was shaped really funny. So that's why I cut it out. And, you know, I cut it and tied it and everything. So it's tucked. The shorts used to be some jeans. The jeans are from Fashion House. And baby, I cut these up into shorts. I will insert a picture of the actual jeans before I cut them up into shorts. And so let me bring this down some so y'all can see because it's not a good angle. So that's how the shorts look. I don't want to turn around because I will, I will get demonetized. But the shoes that I wore, <laughs> the shoes that I wore today are these mules. They look like Fotegas, <laughs> but it's these mules that I got from Fashion House last year. This is my second time wearing them. Second time. Last time I wore them was like, I think I went to a concert, a juvenile concert at 5015 for Memorial Day, I think. And that was way last year. So these are pretty cute. They're like about four inches tall. I want to say three and a half. They're not that tall. These are so, so cute, and I love them so much. I love them to pieces. And hold on, let me show y'all my purse. And the purse I wore is this, I'm trying to close it so y'all can show y'all properly, but this is my Shein purse, and I just put the chain at the back, but it's a crossbody, but yeah. So that's the purse I wore with the shoes and the outfit. So I did a pop of color, so y'all can see me talk. So I did a pop of color with the white and the um, dark denim. And yeah, that's the, whole, that's the whole outfit. And I have an anklet on my foot and all that. Y'all know what anklets look like. So while I take off my makeup, while I, I'll talk to y'all. How about that? I'm gonna talk to y'all while I take off my makeup. So I've been in a really good space um really really good space um therapy has been turning things around for me every other month i have a breakthrough when it comes to therapy i've been in therapy for about four years now um ever since i tried to commit the s word back in 2018 um i enrolled in therapy and that wasn't even my first attempt so i um enrolled in therapy um, back in uh, 2018 and if you if you guys are not new here the main reason why I went to therapy was because of the s word and the reason why I tried to commit the s word is because I was in a situation ship ship with a, a man um, that I was like really really close friends with and we crossed the line and it didn't work out in my favor and yeah I lost it so it's a long story with that. So if you guys are trying to catch up on with that, um, you guys can kind of start my vlogs from first, I mean, like from the beginning to now, like back up and watch those vlogs. I try to say as much as I can without going too much into detail because it's my business. But yeah, so that's that. But anyway, back to the positive. <laughs> but Everything's been going good in my life. Let me take off these lashes. I'm looking for the case. Where's the case to these? Oh, I can't find the case, so we're gonna put it in these. This case right here. So yeah, I've been in a very good space and it's nothing I need to address. Um, like I said, anything that I do see on YouTube, social media, or just in real life, um, if it's a negative thing, okay, if if it's anything that's towards me or if it's anything that's negative, I'm going to make sure and do it my power that I channel that energy, whatever, if it's negative, positive, directive, indirective, whatever it is, I'm going to channel it into a positive. Um, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to react um, because, 
yeah, I'm getting back to a good space where none of that is necessary. Like, none, my response is not necessary. And that's all, you know. Um, you know, me being a human being, all my experiences are real. I don't make them up. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, you know, I wouldn't be sharing my experiences with you guys. Um... You know, I'm not looking for an acting gig or nothing like that. This is real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an actress. This is real life. The things that I go through, um, I really don't need any validation either because I go through some very, very traumatic things and some very, very fun, very, very enlightened things, very positive things, negative things. I go through things. Um, like I said, I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. So... Um, but I'm getting through it, and I'm happy to say so. So, um, I thank God for my therapist and me being consistent in therapy, because without that, I wouldn't be here talking to y'all today. Um, the makeup remover wipes are the makeup wipes that I'm using. You see half my face is gone. <laughs> the makeup wipes <laughs> that I'm using are from, like, you can get these from Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. Global Be Beauty Care is the is the brand name charcoal cleansing wipes and these are like different because sometimes this little paper here or the white is usually like black so they intertwine between a black white and a white white so so everybody has a different experience in life when it comes to certain things certain people whatever and all I'm doing is sharing you my experience from my perspective that's it that's it so anyway on to the positive well that was positive y'all i've been watching a lot of movies uh i don't know what's gotten into me i finished all american season what's that four or five i like all american it's corny but i like it and i've been watching um well, I finished that. I finished, of course. I'm waiting on Squid Game Season 2 because I finished that a long time ago. I'm mad about Ozark not returning. Um, I'm actually currently watching, going back and forth with this series called You Don't Know Me. Um, and what else? I've just been watching a lot of thrillers, a lot of crime movies, a lot of horror movies. Um, of course, I watch stand-up, y'all. Y'all know I love to laugh. So... Um, I think Dave Chappelle, I watched his last one. It was like a stand-up at a college. Um, it was more of a serious stand-up than anything, but it was really entertaining. So I just finished watching that one. Um, I watched that Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson movie called The Man from Toronto. I watched that. Um, I know a lot of people are telling me to get into The Old Man that's on Hulu because I have Hulu. Um, they want me to get into that. Uh, and they want me to get into Love Island. Um, and then I know it's some movies coming up in the theaters. Like, I want to see Nope with the Jordan Peele movie, Nope. Um, and I want to... And it's some movies that I have not seen yet. Like, I have not seen Thor. And I have not seen um, The Black Phone. So, I think I'm going to do that this week. And just go to a few matinees and see those movies. Um, to catch up because I don't like to be behind when it comes to I'm a movie buff so I don't like to be behind when it comes to movies so that's as far as the movies on the theaters and my streaming services so if you guys want to check out the list I will put a list or maybe I'll have it on the screen I don't know or maybe I don't know just listen to what I'm saying okay <laughs> Those are the actual films and shows that I've gotten myself into recently and finished. So, if y'all are interested in those, um, if I was talking too fast, make sure you guys DM me and ask me, hey, what was that show you were talking about? And I will gladly reiterate what I've, you know, currently finished or what I'm currently watching. And yeah, we can watch it together, sis. Or you could tell me that you about to watch it. Thank you for the recommendation, Jess, or whatever. Anyway, um, not too much to talk about with tonight because I'm just going to keep that to myself. I had fun, though. Had fun. So, I'm about to go to bed. I'm going to catch y'all in the morning. Yeah. And once again, I apologize for not being a great blogger when it comes to my turnips. 
because y'all see me turn up. It's summertime, so y'all gonna, I'm gonna be turning up a lot. I'm getting ready to go on vacation, so I literally have like two weekends left, maybe one weekend left, because I don't think I'm going out the weekend before I go on vacation. I kind of want to rest. Um, and then after that, I think I'm gonna go through a slow season where I'm not gonna wanna go out because I don't really like Leos. I don't like Leo men. <laughs> and that's Leo season. By the time I get back, it's gonna be well into Leo season. So um, I do not like those men. I don't like Virgo men. I don't like Virgo women. I don't wanna be around that crowd. But I like Labor Day, so maybe we'll just stick to Labor Day and then pop it, pop out and then pop back in. I don't know. Y'all, y'all remember these? I want one so bad. I think I'm gonna get it. I'm kind of in love with these. Look at these from Walmart. These are cute. These are cute too. They look comfortable. I know these might not be our cup of tea, but they probably look good on. I like these, but I might have to get like an 11. They're a little tight. My baby, you wanna get with me stop? the very next day um i'm off this week so i'm doing i got my baby girl with me and i'm looking pretty cute and sporty today i have this top from fashion house it actually is a part of a suit piece and i put it on, on with some black dds leggings like some one size fit all leggings the purse is from shein so i would definitely link the purse i think this two piece set they still be selling it at fashion house I don't really like the set per se. I just like when I break up the set, if that makes sense to y'all. So yeah, that's what I got on. And I got my ones, my Jordan ones. I got those on, no makeup. This fade cream is, my daughter thought I had makeup on. I have no, no makeup, no concealer, no nothing. Nothing. I have on that uh, Palmer's fade cream. So make sure you guys, uh, Click the link in the description box and go ahead and purchase you some if you have hyperpigmentation. Um, because I have it all right here. So if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't make wear makeup at all. But yeah, I just have my brows, I just filled in my brows, my natural brows, didn't overline them or anything. And I have on like some Shein lashes. So I will link the lashes from Shein down below. The SPF gave me a little white hair. But yeah, I, I got SPF. You know, I did my whole skincare routine and put on that Palmer's Bay Cream, some SPF, and I was after those. Um, and then the lip gloss is Orgasmic from Kiss New York. So, that's what we looking like today. Nails pop below. Y'all know the business. And yeah, my daughter keep looking at this train. <laughs> Anyway, enough about my outfit. My, this train is sending me because if I would have went the way that I was going at first, I would have missed the train because it's like an over, like Houston has oh, a lot of overpasses. Like you see one behind me. How the overpass was, it was over the train tracks. But it's okay. I'm not in a rush. We literally about to go get some breakfast. By the way, I'm going to link some of my, I didn't do that last video, which I definitely apologize. But I'm going to put down a list of birthday freebies. Oh, the train is over with. Right when I said it. Right when I complained. But I'm going to put a list of birthday freebies. Like places that do birthday freebies. And yeah, so y'all can take advantage. All you got to do is sign up. Make sure you do. Make sure you sign up a little bit in advance. I would say about two, one to two weeks. My daughter making sure the train not coming. <laughs> And they, they letting us go like they lifted up the little things so she making sure there ain't nothing else. Thank you though. Thank you for the safety call. But yeah, anyway, um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, the birthday freebie. So make sure you sign up to in advance, a week in advance. Yeah, and it's like a, I think a landfill. I think that's what it is. Yeah, we on this back road, y'all. Excuse if y'all hear noise. I'm sorry. Um, I'm about to drink um, the rest of my little Perrier water. I love these. These are the pineapple. This is the pineapple flavor. They have a watermelon flavor that I haven't tried yet, but I love sparkling water. I'm a, I'm a big fan of sparkling water. It don't have to be super sweet. It can be bland. I don't care. I love sparkling water. So, but this is, this is pretty flavorful though. So. United States need they butt whip right now. Y'all, I'm talking to y'all and got lost. I'm about to turn around. Not around, around. I heard about that one. Yeah. The man that had a cure for cancer and they murdered him. Yep. That is so far. Because they want you to keep paying for the healthcare system. Yeah. They I was talking them. about healthcare. You know, I know, you know, you'd be watching my vlogs. You remember I was talking about healthcare, about how we need that for free. They also have found a cure for autism as well. Yes. Yes. ADHDs and all of that stuff. And but remember, did well. you hear something about the alopecia? Yeah, yeah. they had that as well. And they're they're, they're testing it right now. The the philosophy. There was, there was somebody who already had one. Yeah. So we'll see about that because y'all know I have alopecia. Maybe if I can find a treatment cure, they have things for that, but. Alopecia is a very, very tricky thing because everybody has different cases of it and sometimes everything doesn't work for everybody. Um, alope alopecia can be, um, it can result from different things. People get alopecia just from giving birth, um, you know, or just being born. I or got it. Too much tension. Too much tension, but I got alopecia just by being born. It runs um, in my family. So, I only know of one person in my family that has it. No one else has come forth and said that they did. But, you know, that's who I got it from. So, Hey, y'all. So, we are back from the mall. We went to the mall. Sorry if I didn't film in the mall, but the whole entire mall, the whole thing, even when you're walking from store to store, they were playing copyright music. So I couldn't really talk. I, it, it was not much I can do, to be honest. So there's that. But I'm about to show y'all what we got from the mall. Okay, y'all. So really? So that's okay. So anyway, let me show y'all what we got from the mall. So we went to Miss A. These are the goods. And I got some cute stuff. So let me show y'all. And I'm gonna show y'all the stuff. I well, I'm gonna show you my stuff. Okay. Cause I ain't gonna show you my daughter's stuff. She be getting off the wall stuff. Okay, so I first got these sunglasses or sunshades. Now you see how I'm holding them. Oh wait, wait, is this way? Now y'all see how I'm holding them? These are at the bottom, and you see how they're upside down? They're made like that, and on the side they have like cute little. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like a wing right here. Looks like be like little bees. <laughs> That's what it looked like, little bees. It's getting here. Yeah, it is getting. So, I thought they were cute. Like, if I had my makeup done, these would look cute. But let me show y'all how these look. So cute. Oh, my gosh. She said these giving Harry Potter vibes. I don't care. These are so cute. Makeup done. My makeup not done now, but if I had my makeup done and my hair was different, oh, these are bomb to me. I love them. So these were, I can't remember, let me look. 
the glasses were $1.88. So they're $1.88. Got those. Those are cute. I know. Hey, look. I'm not. Those the, those are not everybody's cup of tea, probably. Y'all probably going to be like, girl. But I'm me and you are you, right? And I like the glasses. So next, I got some claw clips. Because when I go on vacation, I kind of want to wear my hair up in styles when I'm going to the pool or when I'm going to dinner and stuff. And these are really popular right now. So I got two ombre ones, one green ombre and one uh, purple ombre. The claw clips were, oh, they were a dollar a piece. Next, I got this pretty, pretty, pretty giant silver bracelet. I have a silver bracelet that's like this that is a little bit more better quality, but I've had it for a while. So I will layer it with the other one. And this bracelet was $1. Ooh, a necessity. This was a need. This is the reason why I went to Miss A. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. These, these little earring backs, I've been struggling. I've been taking earring backs from other earrings and putting on certain earrings that I can't find the back for. A shame. So these earring backs were $1. And they have 20 pieces in here, so it's 10 pairs. And then next, last but not least, actually, it's last because the rest of this stuff is for my daughter. I don't, they ain't none of y'all. That's her stuff. <laughs> so I got these cute rings. Okay, and I'm gonna show y'all. When I first saw these rings, Kyra had them. Like, it was a year ago when I seen them. So here's the purple one. Oh, each of the rings were a dollar a piece. So I got the lavender purple one. I have a swimsuit this color. Yeah, I remember that clock clip. Okay, and I'm wearing this on vacation. I'm not wearing like, suit. I'm not wearing that much jewelry. I just want my accessories to speak for itself. Like the ring, clock clip, earring, maybe a bracelet, no watch. But the earrings, the hair, and the rings are gonna speak for itself. And you see the, the texture is like plastic. And I thought this is cute. So I got the purple one. I got the pink one the pink one is a little bit bigger so I'll put the pink one here cute I got the orange one the orange one is the same size as the purple one so I'm put it here I have an orange swimsuit the pink one I have um I don't know if I have baby pink but if I wear pink I'll just wear this doesn't matter I have a yellow cover-up which I will show y'all in a minute and this is cute this is gonna go with it and I'll probably wear the yellow and the orange together because I'm actually wearing yellow and orange together on vacation. And lastly, I got this turquoise color. I don't think I have turquoise, but I'm still gonna wear it for fun. Like if I'm wearing all white, which I am at one point, I'm gonna do this as a pop of color. And I thought this was so cute. And if I don't get to wear it on vacation, I'm gonna wear it. And next, we went to Forever 21. And Forever 21, I actually wanted some slides, but I ended up buying my daughter something. So I'm gonna show y'all what she got. And it was buy one, get one free. They're still doing a sale at Forever 21. It might not be the same as what it used to be, but it's, they still trying to get rid of their stuff, okay? So I hope these fit y'all. You got you think they're gonna fit? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. My legs ain't that big. Okay. So we got these very like high quality, high rise leggings in a size medium. These are for my daughter. And they were regularly $19.99. I know y'all can see that. But they were on sale for $7. Okay. And they are good material. I mean, so cute. cute. So she's gonna wear these. They're high quality. I love the checkerboard late so there were seven dollars remember these were buy one get one free so she got her whole outfit she has this oversized well she got it in a bigger size but she's gonna knot it and wear it with the leggings there's a hello kitty like i think this is in a size what 2x yeah 2x she's gonna knot it at the waist it's not that big though it's a crop but you know she's gonna make it do what it do it's a hello kitty it's really cute she loves hello kitty and this was nine bucks. 
it was it was a regular price $27 shirt and it it turned out to be $9 on the sale so her whole outfit was $9 because it's buy one get one free this looks like a okay shut up hey y'all so um we just popping in we're about to get us something to eat um we're in the hood right now I don't want to disclose the location, but I'm going to do a five below haul real quick. I got these press on nails from Pablo. Look how cute they are. So cute. So these are $5. These are the same as these. This is the same brand. So these are $5. I need some more setting spray, so I got the setting spray. There, it's usually $5 everywhere. It's like $4.99, $5, so I bought it. And then I got these white slots. I need some white slides for vacation. Look how cute they are. Five bucks. And that is it. So we're about to get us some to eat, y'all. And I don't think y'all gonna be hearing from me no more today. So if y'all y'all don't hear from me today, tomorrow, whatever, I'll catch y'all in the next clip. Good morning. It is the next day. I am on my way to go running. I did a lot of lifting this morning, hence the fact that I look a little tired, but I got some more um, C4 left. Y'all know how I do with C4 is that I take my time with it because it's an energy drink. Same thing with, um, what's that other brand called? Celsius and the other, I think that's only two, Celsius and C4. But I take my time with energy drinks because I'm a water drinker. I drink a lot of water. And so anything that tastes like tastes like it has sugar, even though this doesn't have sugar, this is like zero calories, zero sugar all the way down. Oops. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I was having technical difficulties. <laughs> Y'all, I'm such in a good mood these days. Everything makes me laugh. Nothing makes me cry. I can talk about things and not be triggered. It's just been a great week. And it's only halfway over with. Um, so that's good. And I'm not trying to jinx it. Lord, please don't let me jinx it. But um, yeah, I was talking about the C4. This is peach mango nectar. And like I said, it's zero sugar and zero calories and all that. Y'all get y'all know the vibes over here. And um, I was just saying that I just have to take my time drinking it that's all i'm not gonna give y'all a whole spiel of why but let me show you guys the picture y'all i'm just so happy i don't jeez i'm gonna show y'all two things because y'all my girl look at the picture my daughter drew me y'all I mean, saw me the other day when i was in the car she drew a picture of me when we were chilling with family the other day i didn't vlog that but she took she drew this picture of me and that's so cute it looks just like me when i was in the car I'm going to do a side-by-side -side so y'all can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's so cute. She's an artist. I don't know if y'all know that, but my daughter, if you're new, I know y'all y'all are new. Sorry, I need to stop saying that. But my daughter, she's an artist. I don't know what this doing up here. I was at the gym with this. Oh, no. Nobody else be telling me nothing. Looks like I don't have no friends in the gym. But anyway, um, yeah, she's an artist. She loves art. And she's won many awards for her art. So, anyway, well, let me show y'all something. Cause y'all gonna be like, <sighs> y'all gonna be like, excelling, inhaling, and exhaling for me because, Lord, I'm tired of this seesaw and this roller coaster ride. So let me show y'all something. Y'all know how bloated my stomach was? I will put the clips in of how bloated I was. I don't know if y'all can hear me. But I'm gonna put the clips in of how bloated I was on Sunday night. Like, this is so weird to me. Anyway, I'm still thicker. Like I said, I put on some weight, but my stomach wasn't, it's not as big as what it was on Sunday. I did a detox since then, so that's probably why. But I'm telling y'all, look. It went tremendously down. It was so pudgy. You couldn't even see my belly button at one point on Sunday, so that's good, y'all. I'm happy about this. Yo, yo. Hey, y'all. So I'm back home. I'm showered and I'm refreshed. And yeah, I'm about to show y'all something real quick. On Sunday, I had dairy 
carbs, liquor, all that. And you know I'm on birth control, y'all. So it makes me gain weight and then I lose the weight and then I gain the weight back. It's always been a crazy ride with the birth control. Let me fix y'all a little bit better. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to customize some clothing. So, the first piece that I'm going to customize, y'all know y'all seen this before. This is the jacket for Forever 21. I'm going to wear this when it gets a little cooler outside because it's very, very heavy and thick. But how I'm going to crop it, I'm going to crop it like I'm going to do a super duper crop to where it's only, y'all see right here? I only want it to come to right here. Okay, so I'm gonna wear this probably with like some white boots or just wear some all black underneath, like an all black jumpsuit and some black boots or some jeans. It doesn't matter if it's the same wash or some white. I don't know, but I know that I'm wearing this when it gets a little cooler outside or if I'm going on like a movie date, like a date. That's pretty cool. So this is how it looks full size because y'all know I'm about to crop it. Let me pull it down so y'all can see. So here's the jacket. See how it's full size. And you see how this button right here is? Let me button it so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So this button, that's going to be the last button. I'm not going to crop it below this button right here. You see this button right here? I'm not going to crop the jacket below it. So to make sure that I have ample crop and make sure the key to cropping a jacket yourself, y'all see like it looks really, really good. It's fit really good. This is a, uh, I think this is a smaller medium. I'm going to crop it where this line is, either right here or above this button. I'm probably gonna do it above this button right here, like a little bit below this one. So when I have this button, it can kind of flare out. I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying. But it's a very nice jacket. Very good quality. If I would have kept it full size, it's fine. Like it would have looked like a jean t-shirt. <laughs> but it doesn't have any shape to it. That's why I like wearing crop stuff. Y'all know, I was explaining that to y'all in the beginning of the vlog. And on other vlogs is that I like to wear crop things. Because it does not flatter my body. So... I'm definitely going to crop this jacket. Next, the next item, next item that I'm going to um, customize. Sorry if y'all can't see me correctly, but the next item I'm going to customize is this swimsuit cover up that I got from Rainbow. I never wore it. So the jacket I never wore. Oh, and the jacket, what size is this jacket? Oh, yeah. The jacket was a size small yeah so this is a medium and let me go ahead and try this on for y'all so y'all can get what i'm talking about and okay, now y'all see i have shorts on under this right now it's it's like a it's like a pencil i don't know how y'all call this i don't know but this is how the dress looks very cute don't get me wrong i have the shorts on so just imagine this with no shorts but look, it makes my body look big. I have no shape to my body at all. Look, if I go like this, it'll have a shape. So I'm going to make this a shirt and a skirt. Okay. So this top part, I'm going to cut. Y'all see what I'm talking about? I'm going to cut. I'm trying to, let me, let me pull this up. So, <laughs> so I'm going to make this a shirt, a top and a skirt. So I'm going to cut right here. To make sure the skirt, you know, it still has this drawstring. So where I could tighten the skirt, if that makes sense. So right here is going to be cut. And the crazy thing about it is that I'm going to be wearing an orange bandeau swimsuit. Like the, the swimsuit is going to go across like this. And then the bottoms are going to be full coverage. So it's still going to be pretty. But I want this skirt to be, I want this skirt to be like a midi size, midi length. So when I cut this, I'll be able to put it on my waist tie it at the waist, tighten it at the waist, and it'll have shape to it, to where it'll go. I don't know what happened, y'all, but I was trying to show y'all how I was going to customize this dress, 
but y'all see how it makes my shape look very very boxy this is in a size medium and no a large would have made it look worse and a small would have been too tight now small might have been given i don't know but like i said i'm going to make this in a crop shirt and a skirt so let me show y'all one more time just in case that clip didn't transfer but yeah it's a short y'all see it it's kind of it's not a short skirt but it's like a pencil pencil dress and yeah but it doesn't do much because y'all i have these shorts on underneath okay so let me get to cutting so anyway y'all i'm about to end the vlog here because i have a lot of customizing to do those are not the only two pieces i have a lot to do thank god i'm off this week because i have a lot to do to my clothing i have this other dress but i'm not going to show y'all everything in this vlog make sure you tune into the next vlog oh look look my scissors this is my favorite scissors to cut up clothes with <laughs> um y'all know that i love customizing my clothes because my body is it's weird okay but if you're able body and you're able to do things or make things that works best for you i say do it sis so anyway y'all let me get to work and if y'all want to see the reveal for these items make sure you guys give me a like on this video make sure y'all get these these videos up to about 25 to 30 likes it helps me a lot to make sure that i know the things that y'all like to see um obviously y'all love when i go out to clubs and go out and stuff like that because that's what my analytics my analytics are telling me but it's it's more to life than just going out to these clubs like i have a lot of talents y'all and I can't show them if I don't know that's what something y'all would like to see. You know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at beautifulmind1989 as well. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. But stay tuned for a positive message at the end. I love all of y'all. I told y'all I love, love, love YouTube. That is my favorite app. I love my subscribers. I love my future subscribers, even though I have not, I don't know y'all yet. Y'all ain't subscribed yet. But if you watching this video, make sure you guys subscribe because we regular girling over here. I'm just a, I'm just a country girl. I'm a country city girl from Houston, Texas. And all I'm trying to do is put out good content, content that people can relate to. That's all. I just want to be relatable, which I am. It's not hard to be. But anyway, I'm rambling, y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Things don't happen to you. They happen for you. Mm. That's mm. life. Everything is life. It happens for you. Everything is for your greatest good. Mm -hmm. No matter what it looks you. I mean, you know, they say you want to make God laugh. Tell them your plans, right? You can't, you can't control the future. I mean, you can control it up to some point. You can't control what others do. You can't control anything. Someone can run a red light, and that's the end of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, you can't, you only can control what you can control. Mm -hmm. So, things don't happen to you. They happen for you. You want to hear me love when you make. You'll try and come back when you fail.